If you've been working your way through the videos covering the General tab in Academic Reports, you'll eventually come to this menu item, Reporting Periods. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief run-through of what some of the navigation can look like, to help you if you get lost. This is essentially a list of all previous reporting periods, including the current one that your school has created. This page doesn't really do that much on its own, but rather it refers you to other things. You can create or import a reporting period, and you can unlock, edit, remove, or export a reporting period. It's a bit like a page that you pass through on your way to doing something with reports. For example, I'm in Setup now, but if I navigate back to Academic Reports, out of the Setup environment, I land back in the current reporting period. If I want to quickly check what happened in a previous reporting period, I can click here and select the reporting period I'm interested in. All the way down here, I can also view all the reporting periods. This page looks very similar to the reporting periods page at the beginning of this video, but it's missing the unlock, edit, remove, export, and create buttons. Don't let that confuse you. If I go back to the setup environment from here and then navigate to the general tab, I can get back to where I started. Now, if I log into Central for the first time on any given day and then navigate to Academic Reports, I land on this page. These are the same reporting periods that we just saw, so don't let that throw you. You can click into any one of these reporting periods and keep working. Or you can scroll down to the bottom of the list and click Create a new reporting period. If you do in fact want to create a new reporting period, then you should watch that video next.